Hello and welcome in section 4. In this section, we will be classifying sounds with convolutional neural networks. And we'll start in with just choosing the right pre trained model and getting it ready for classification. So, in this particular example, the first thing that we need to do is that we need to go to the source folder for this section and run a HTTP server. Why we have to do that? Well, because in this particular case, I've actually prepared the pre-trained model. It has been converted from a Python pre-trained model, and we need to serve this model inside our own server because it's not available online. And this is the first reason. And then the second reason is that also our audio sample has to be served locally. So the simplest way of going about it, of running a very simple, very basic HTTP server is just to use Python. And Python is most of the time installed it by default. So we can just run Python 3 minus M HTTP dot server. And you have to run it inside a source directory for this section. And this will basically just serve the contents of the source directory inside a HTTP server. And we can now access our example. So let's open a web browser and type in localhost eight and then three zeros, right? This is a very basic example. And here we will be just classifying a audio sample and judging what kind of emotion do we have in this audio sample. And let's just click on this link and we'll see the player. And when we hit play, we've got the actual sound that we are analyzing and then we'll get the name of the class that we've detected at the very bottom of the page. So this is a very straightforward example, very simple. And let's have a look at the code. So the first thing that you have to know is that the models that we'll be using are located in models directory inside the source directory for this section. Okay. And because we've run the HTTP server, this models folder is actually served inside a HTTP server. So those files are available locally. Keep in mind that here we have two files that we need. The first one is JSON file, and this is the structure of our model. And then we have our weights file, which is the kind of a internal, the content of the model. Okay. So we have those two files and we have to have those two files in models directory. And to get started with just understanding what's going on here, here's the main page. And this is as simple as it was in previous examples. First, we load in a TensorFlow.js library. And then we are loading the analyzer. This is the main object that we'll be using for doing the classification of our audio sample. And then we also load in the index.js. And this is the main entry point. So let's have a look when it comes to just loading the model. You can see from the rest of the sections that we are pretty much doing it in a very similar way in each case. So let's have a look at index.js. And apart from all of this code related to just firing detection when we click on play on our audio sample. So here we actually get this audio element and we want to start to do the detection once we've hit the play. This is just how, you know, how I have set it up and our main kind of object that is responsible for the detection is called analyzer. And let me have a look where we have this analyzer. So what we are doing um, at the beginning is that we are initializing this analyzer just by running setup analyzer and we provide an ACNN URLs to this object. So now let's open analyzer.js. So this is where we have all the mechanics behind loading the loading the models. And near the bottom, we have the URL for our topology. So we've got our model in models directory. This is our JSON file, and this is the, the structure of our model. And then we also have to have the content of the model. 
which is inside the bin directory, in the same directory, in models directory. So it kind of, uh, the TensorFlow.js will look for this bin file as well. And, but we have to provide only the structure of the model that we are interested in. So we are loading models in a very similar way that we've done previously. We're just using TF load model. And we're catching the errors as previously. And once we've loaded the model, this is available inside this object, inside model attribute. And this is pretty much what we need to know about the, uh, the model, how I've chosen the model to use. Well, I did a little bit of research and there was one model that was achieving a quite nice results. And then I've converted it to TensorFlow.js format. This is what, what you can actually see. Uh, this is the kind of a model that is actually see, and it has been trained on, a, you know, a lot of uh, two quite big only data sets. Okay. So we've got our model loaded and we can then use audio analyzer to actually do the predictions.